Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and today I will tell you almost the last chapter of the Outliers written by Malcolm Gladwell. This chapter continues the main ideas and uh, in some sense the main points of the previous uh, chapter um, the about race parties. And today in this video I will try to again explain to you who Outliers are and what is the secret and there is a secret of uh, is there a secret of their success? So first of all, let me just start um, continuing the um, same point about cultural legacy and how it is related with the sense with the sort of success. So uh, how cultural legacy is especially related with the educational pattern? Um, well. All over the world, each educational system, and specifically, for instance, our own, the Kazakh educational system, we have summer holidays, very long summer holidays, which are usually lasting for three months, June, July, and August. Um, all this started in the, in the middle of 19th century, from the interrogation or survey of one sociologist, his name is Edward Jarris, and he had made his interrogation about insanity and how insanity is related, sorry, and how insanity is related with the overlearning. Consequently, his uh, survey showed that um, 200 45 out of 1,741 situations are, utter, uh, are absolutely related with the overstudy. And therefore, in the 19th century, the reformers, the educational system, started to reduce the curriculum, started to eliminate the schools on uh, Saturdays and all that stuff. However, it is familiar to the Western world. Um, as you can remember, as I shared with you with the information how Western people took care of, of their fields. They put the seeds in the spring and then harvested the crop, the crop in the autumn. And between that um, moments, spring and autumn, they had uh, the kind of summer idleness or summer vacation because they did nothing. N not nothing, but they didn't work with their crops so intensively and they didn't put so intensive efforts as, for example, Asians people does did. And, um, well, um, and consequently, nowadays, you know, the creation, you know, the origin of nowadays contemporary holiday vacation. Really and truly, it is important. We have to rest. It is, it contributes and it uh, impacts on our analytical and cognitive skills because during the vacation, during the process of having the rest, we are able to analyze and process the information which we have got at the end of the educational year. And therefore, we are able to um, obtain the habits of insight, own insight, own reflection, and own analytical process so we can uh, get our knowledge to our own analytical logical conclusion it is really important and that is why we have to rest and we need rest as a consciousness people so and um, uh, as you know wh why we should have a rest as you know some peculiarities and some differences of asian um type of work because they um, don't have so long summer vacation uh, I mean specifically as for instance United States they have um, 180 days of educational year simultaneously the Korean educational system and a Japan educational system they have four 
the former ones for 40 days longer and the later ones for 63 days longer of education, which means they have reduced summer vacation. And so, again, knowing such peculiarities, let me go to the next point about one uh, nowadays very important and very desirable school that is called KIPP school. KIPP school is located in the Bronx, in the South Bronx, in the New York City. And maybe the majority of you knows, knows that this school um, is situated in the very poor district with a high level of murders, violation and so on. Nevertheless, this school is considered as one of the desirable and every family, I mean rich family in New York City has been trying to make his child to be a student of the KIPP school. Why? So, um, before that I will share with you the structure of KIPP school and the real examples of the real students of KIPP school. Uh, one of that, one of those students is called Marita. Marita is, um, Marita started, so she was taking an interview and she told the interviewer that she was a 12, uh, 12 years old girl. She studied in the fifth, she was the fifth grade student. In her usual day, she explained it as, in a matter of fact way. Her usual day consisted of um, she woke up very early um, at uh, five o'clock, at nearly 25 minutes past five o'clock in the morning. Then her lesson started at the um, uh, 25, uh, sorry, at uh, 25 minutes past seven a.m in the morning and then she uh, came home at half past, half past 5 p.m. in the evening. Moreover, she had to do, she had to handle with her home task and at the end of that activities, at the end of that deeds, she um, uh, went to sleep uh, at 11 and sometimes 12 o'clock in the evening and because of that she um, she was very tired because she and not only she but other students of KIPP school they did very intensive work hard work and they studied for 50 60 percent longer and more than the average student in the United States of America so here I want to mark and no, I want to mention the word more why? Because why the KIPP school is considered so desirable and they have so best results, best, I mean, in grades. Because they just increases the time, they added the extended time for the learning. They just increased the amount of days in the educational year. And the problem in them, why the Asian so good at mathematics, why, for instance, we and why other Western people are not so good at mathematics is that not because we don't have some special equipment or some primary approaches or some very intelligent professors, but because we have the problem of very long gap of, uh, of the absence of extended amount of time which we really need and KIPP school has solved this problem using this extended time because in the every morning uh, in addition to the as I mentioned before 50 and 60 percent more every morning they have thinking skills class where the student usually uh, stays before the before his classmates and he um, is trying to solve his problem, solve some task, um, discussing this task with his classmates and their teacher sometimes interrupts in that discussion in order to 
helps them in order to maybe go back to the uh, syllabus, explain the old topics and explain the entire topics to the pupils. So pupils are able to apprehend and they are able to realize the mathematic and other um, subjects um, realize clearly using that extended amount of time. In addition to that, students and teacher feel relaxed. They are not uh, pressed by the absence of time because as I said, they are able to go back and go further to the syllabus and it is very cool. And therefore, um, students see that kind of process meaningful because they get reward, they understand. Uh, after putting the efforts and doing the intensive work. And uh, um, at conclusion, I just want to prove all what I have said, uh, introducing you some real, again, real interrogations, which interrogation, especially about one exam, <clears throat> Sorry, California Achievement Test exam, which usually um, has been conducting in every September, in every September and every June. Um, at the end of that exam, the uh, Malcolm Gladwell he made his own survey, and then he pointed out that uh, the pupils who um, have passed this test in the um, September, the pupils, especially from the rich families, they have better marks than the pupils for middle class families and poor class families. And, uh, but however, when he conducted the same survey on the same California achievement test, in the June, the results were appropriately the same. Um, moreover, the grades of the low uh, class, low social class students, I mean, students for poor families, they had for five points higher than the points of the uh, rich children. It is, it's kind of, it's really surprisingly, and now I, I will uh, try to explain you why. Mm. As you can understand, the, um, the first test was conducted at the end of the summer vacation, and the second test was organized uh, at the beginning of summer vacation. And again, the reason is in the summer vacation, because the rich children, especially their families, their parents, they were able to pay uh, some money to send their children to some camp, to go with them to the museums, theaters, maybe abroad, to some, may, maybe taking some additional courses, whatever. And um, in general, it is called concerned cultivation. Oh, I, I just forgot to mention that the California Achievement Test which I am talking about, is was conducted um, on the reading skills. So, uh, then, then uh, moving to the concerned cultivation. However, unfortunately, the poor children and their parents, they can't, they couldn't afford themselves and to their children to go to abroad, to take additional courses, to implement the style of concerned cultivation in their lifestyle. And therefore, at the end of the um, summer vacation, they forgot a lot How, uh, simultaneously when the children for rich families, they gained more knowledge and they were able to process that knowledge. And therefore, they had higher scores but the second interrogation, when the Malcolm Gladwell uh, 
analyze the results from the California achievement test in the June, the points were absolutely uh, were the same, approximately the same, because they didn't have any gap as the vacation, as the summer vacation. And at this point, the reason um, not in the IQ, the reason not in the just some people, some children are intelligent, some children are clever and some not. No, the reason in the long period of time when our mind, our brain doesn't work. Um, and um, therefore, KIPP has solved this problem in that way. They just reduced the amount of time in the summer vacation. And... Uh, in conclusion, in the very conclusion, I just want you to explain that the outliers are those people who are was given a chance and they had the enhancement, uh, sorry, the endurance, the motivation, the courage to use that opportunity, use that chance and apply it in order to achieve success. Marita was one of them. She got the chance. She was girl from a poor family and she got a chance and she was able to use that going to the school every day working hard uh, studying intensively and yes and she was able to do that and uh, if we look at bill gates or beatles we will see the same situation they were given a chance bill gates were given the only computer in the America, in the MIT University, the Beatles were given the opportunity as homework and the year 10 hour uh, practice. And uh, what we can do, we can just find the appropriate and very good opportunities in our own, in our own real life and be strong and have a courage to use that opportunities. So thank you so much for your attention.